Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss different stages of shock. The three main important stages of shock are basically the first is the non-progressive stage or the compensated stage. The second is the progressive stage. And finally, the irreversible stage. Now, in the last lecture, we defined a shock, which is basically the decreased blood flow or inadequate blood uh, flow to the tissues to sustain or decrease supply of uh, oxygen or nutrients, oxygen or nutrients to body organs. And we discussed that this shock could either be due to the decreased cardiac output or it can be due to normal cardiac output. So then we classified the different types of shock which were basically due to decreased cardiac output and different types of shock which were due, due to uh, or, or in which the cardiac output was normal. Now each and every category of shock has around three stages. The initial stage is the non-progressive stage. Then after the non-progressive and the compensated stage is the progressive stage and the irreversible stage. Now what are basically these different stages of shock? Now basically if we consider a graph and we see that suppose for example this is the amount of blood flow. This is the normal amount of blood flow to a tissue. In the initial non-progressive stage, in the initial non-progressive stage, if suppose, for example, there is a decrease in the blood flow to the tissue, there is a decrease. This is the normal amount of blood flow. This is the normal amount of blood flow to the tissue. And this there is a decrease in the blood flow. There is a decrease in the blood flow. Now, up to some extent, for example, up to this, this extent, the human body, the internal mechanisms of the human body can restore this shock to the normal level. The human, normal human body mechanisms, the different compensatory mechanisms can restore this decrease in blood flow, this decrease in oxygen or this decrease in nutrient supply to the tissue, it can be restored through the compensatory mechanisms, through the compensatory mechanisms of the human body themselves. And that's why it is known as the compensated shock. This is compensated shock. Now, if the shock basically uh, increases beyond this stage, if the shock increases beyond this stage, for example, now this up to this extent, it was the non-progressive or compensated stage in which the human body compensatory mechanism could reverse it, could compensate it, could correct it with their own mechanism without external help, without treatment, without external help or without treatment, this shock could be corrected through the human body's own compensatory mechanisms like sympathetic nervous system or uh, fluid retention or something. Now beyond this stage, beyond this stage, if the shock increases further, the, the blood flow has decreased to this point, for example. Now beyond this stage, the, the, the shock, the decrease in blood flow, the decrease in oxygen supply, the decrease in nutrients to the different body tissue, it cannot be compensated, it cannot be recovered, it cannot be corrected without the external help, without the treatment. Without treatment, the second stage or the decrease in blood flow beyond this stage cannot be corrected without external help, without treatment or the body, the human body's own mechanisms cannot recover. So up to this point, for example, up to this point, the external help will be helpful or the treatment will be helpful or any external uh, influence will try to recover the shock from this point to the normal level. This is basically the progressive stage. This is the progressive stage. From this point onward, without treatment, from this point onward, without treatment, there will be no recovery. Up till, up till this point, up till this point, for example, this was the normal level. Up till this point, the human body itself could recover it. And beyond this point, the human body itself could, could not recover it. But with external help, with external help from this point, from this point onward, it would be recovered with the treatment. But if the, the, the shock or the, the blood supply, the blood flow decreases beyond this level, beyond this level, for example, beyond this level, if any decrease in blood flow occur, if any decrease supply of oxygen, if there is decrease in supply of nutrient and there is a, an increase in shock beyond this level, then it cannot be recovered even with the treatment. Even with the treatment, this stage cannot be recovered and it is labeled as irreversible stage. So up till this, point up till this point this the shock is basically non-progressive and it is a compensated stage because the body itself can compensate the decrease in blood flow through different mechanisms beyond this point up till this point the external help up the external help can recover the uh, shock the external help can increase the blood flow it can increase the oxygen supply it can increase the nutrients but the body's own mechanism or the compensatory mechanisms cannot recover the shock beyond this point or the point at which a progressive st stage of the shock starts and once the shock increases beyond this point, if the shock increases beyond this point, for example, then even with the treatment, the shock cannot be recovered or the, 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 the blood flow, the supply of the nutrients, the supply of the oxygen and the nutrients cannot be recovered or the shock cannot be recovered and it is labeled as irreversible stage of the shock. So there are three main important uh, stages of shock. The first is the non-progressive stage in which the, the human body itself can recover from the shock without any treatment. Then the second stage is progressive st uh, stage in which the body's uh, own mechanisms, the compensatory uh, mechanisms cannot recover the shock, but the external help, the treatment provided from the outside can recover the shock. But after that point, if there increase in shock occur and there is decreased flow of oxygen, there is decreased flow of blood, there is decreased supply of nutrient to the tissue beyond this level, then even the 
the external help, the outside, the treatment provided cannot uh, help the patient and it is labeled as irreversible stage of the shock. Now, in the coming lectures, we are going to discuss in detail with examples with each and every uh, step in uh, disc being discussed in detail. So uh, that's all about the different uh, stages of shock. Thanks a lot for watching the video.